Today I'm going to explain if our customers when they use our security camera and then choose IPC disconnect or choose poor signal how we handle this situation because our camera is wireless camera and the old wireless cameras actually have the same problem easy our signal is transmitted from the antenna trans back to MVR so if we put the camera far away your MVR sometimes it might happen the IPC disconnect because we put it too far away so in this case first the basic is we need to make sure camera is screw tight with antenna because antenna is the most important thing to transmit the signal back to MVR. So we make sure antenna is screw tight and straight up so the signal can transmit from antenna back to MVR. We in earlier did a test. If you forgot the antenna then the signal will be only half of with antenna so please remember always keep your antenna screw tight and straight up and the customer some is still have a problem even get the antenna the signal sometimes is get a delay or the picture is not smooth frozen sometimes that also is just because the signal transmit back to MVR get a delay. So for this case, we have a second solution. This is extended antenna. Compared with the general antenna, the extended antenna can be, we can put this extended cord inside your house so that the signal will transmit from extender antenna this extend cord back to your MVR. So the signal will much stable. Why? Because if you just a general antenna, the signal need to go through your um all those walls or doors or windows, right? But if you you get this extender antenna you can draw a hole and put this extender cord through the hole and come into your house inside the house so the signal again will transmit from this extender cord back to MVR so the signal will be more stable this second solution is what we recommend because this one is simple and also very effective okay some customer says i don't want to draw a hole so what can we do we also have a one more solution the solution is this is the last solution extender a wi-fi extender or we call it ipc router this is small one can match code with our camera. Match code. So the camera signal all the information will match code into this IPC router. And from this IPC router, we again, we connect with MVR and the match code from MVR and the video manage we can do match code and then we all those um, cameras information ip signal will go through the ipc router and go back to your mvr so it is kind of like a bridge in the middle and the one side match code with camera and the one side match code with MVR. It's like a bridge to build two parts. And this one you can put nearby MVR inside a room, inside a house. 
So the signal again will transmit from this uh, Wi-Fi router, um, IPC router, back to MVR. Okay, and this small little one, but I actually have a can hook up with the four cameras. So only one box can hook up with four cameras. But what we are suggested, maybe you can hook up like a two. It is much better. This is one. Okay. And um, right now, actually, we have uh, one more on solutions. Yeah. This is the three basic solutions, but we have uh, one more solutions. We can check our video. Okay, on our screen right now, we are under right click, go to system setup, and then network setup. In your left, Wi Fi setup. Okay, under Wi Fi setup, this page, we will see region. We select on T mode. If your environment has many inference, inference happened sometimes. If you have more, more than one device, you have a two set of security camera system. Then these two systems maybe they got some. Um, inference together so we using we can use T mode use T mode to anti inference so remember we can go to system setup network setup Wi-Fi setup select on T mode and then we click on apply And then we click on OK. We go back to the video manager screen. So this function, some unit don't have. Some older unit, no T mode. Only have the new unit, we have this function. This is a new developed function, T mode, to anti interference. We click OK and back to the main screen. And the last solution, this one we can do, but we are not do that often. Under Video Manage, we click on Repeater. Okay. After repeater, because now I only connect with one camera, but we still can see under repeater, just uh, uh, under channel 2, there has one plus. Actually, this plus, we can, we can add other channels under channel 2. If a channel 2 have a stronger signal, and another channel is a poor signal we can put this another channel under channel 2 so the signal will transmit through channel 2 back to MVR so this is a repeater which camera shows poor signal then you can put this camera under one camera which shows a stronger signal we can using this one this function it's actually all those function like a Wi-Fi extender and the repeater those function just like a bridge we using one middle which one have a stronger signal stuff and then connect to MVR so in this case after we click on plus and the put another camera which camera is a poor signal camera 
under the stronger signal camera. Then we can click apply. And then we click OK. Go back. Usually, if in our system shoes IPC disconnect, we how we handle, we first took down this camera and put this camera beside MVR. We need a hardwired connection between this camera and the MVR. Because the IPC disconnect, it shows the MVR already lose the signal with this camera. So we need to rebuild the connection between them. So we need to do a match code. How to add a camera into the system? Actually, we have another video. You can search on our in this video on our official website or on YouTube. And in this video, I will not again to repeat. But in this video, what we talk about is the IPC disconnect and also the camera poor signal, how to handling this. We actually have a basic three solutions. Let's go over again. First, Make sure your general antenna screw tight on your camera. Okay, this is one solution. Second, you see, screw tight with your extender antenna. Extender antenna actually put this extender cord inside your house and add just the solution, uh, add just the location to find the best location for this extender cord transmit the signal back to MVR. Third is using Wi-Fi extender. A Wi-Fi extender can extend more Wi-Fi coverage area. So how to set up a Wi-Fi extender? We also have another video. So you can check on our official website to see how to set up a Wi-Fi extender. Without these three basic solution, I mentioned in our web in our network setup, Wi-Fi setup, right? Under this page, if you you have more than one device work together, they might between the each other have an interference. So we can choose T mode. We can anti interference. Or if we sometimes, if we feel mm, the signal, one camera signal is not that strong, but another camera nearby is more stronger, then we can click on repeater which in the video manage, we click on repeater. And under repeater, we just wait, now it's updating. Okay, under repeater, you will see um, the camera, which shows a stronger signal. We click on the plus beside this camera and select on, select on the camera which shows poor signal so the poor signal one camera will go through the strong signal camera transmit the signal back to MVR the routing will be okay the poorer one stronger one and the MVR after that we click apply and then click OK let's go back to video manage this is screen and click OK again, we go back to the main screen. Okay, that is how we to handling with IPC disconnect camera poor signal those situation. Hope this video can help you fix your problem. Thank you for your watching.